Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we will do a review a little bit different on my desk by my window where I always create my craft or I stitch or I diamond paint. It's in my living room by my computer and we will try because it's a product in here not very big sizes so I think this table will be good enough for me to do a review. Now this package arrived from DIY Digital Art and I have to say that this is one of my favorite store to receive package because it's different than other stores. You know, in one of this package, I have like three different kind of crafts and it's always fun to see something new. It's a huge store with tons of product. If you never ever visit yet DIY Digital Art, I strongly recommend because the prices up there are also really good. So what we have today in here, let's see what we have today. Something for everyone. For my cross stitch lovers, we have two canvases in here. For my resin and mold uh, people, we have in here two products of the resin stuff to create jewelry. And also, if you are paper craft people who like to create cards, scrapbooking we have some dies and i actually was really excited about this little tiny die and maybe we will start with it so let's put this aside for now somewhere in here next to my computer and we will try to see okay is that a little bit like a shadow let's see if we can bring some light in here a little bit more oh okay very squeaky lamp but it will give us some light a little bit more plus this is little pieces we can bring even close now the first die cut in here it's a stencil of the world the globe i have one that i um, purchased in my store in here in my city uh, winners usually have some die cuts before I don't know right now uh, but they have like a, a globe on a stand that you would use on your desk but this is just like a map globe around and you can see there are some countries up there let's see if your country in here or not or you are on the other side but uh, here it is if we can bring very very close you can see that this die made really nice and i already have uh, many review of die cuts from doi digital art and they work perfect this is not very cheap bendy steel this is very high quality thick steel see it's not bendable so well of course if i want to bend i will but i'm just saying this is very very sturdy and i always like world i like the space i like everything uh, i don't know this die to me is really beautiful you can create some cards for a teacher for school um there we have like a world day no how we, we have a day the world day or peace day um so anyway, this, this die, uh, to me, it's very, very beautiful die. So I will be do test of the dies in my other video because I have a very good um, video for you to create with this die. So we also, we will, we will test it out this one to see how cuts will come out I'm like 99.9% .9 sure this is going to be very very good quality die to test also we will test our new cuddle bug that I received from DIY digital art a few videos back I did review uh, because this is mini die die cuts so it will go through the machine because that machine is kind of like a mini so this dice will be perfect to work with that machine as well 
and let me show you what I have in here now I ordered this flower because I wanted to see how big this die and I have to say that I have a die cut of the flower like this that is big maybe um, maybe even bigger size than, than this globe and this is mini so this is very interesting because you can create beautiful roses for your cuts in a mix of big that I already have. So I love to work with this die cuts and if you have a chance go ahead and order so maybe you can create flowers together with me. But also for those who don't have maybe money at this point and you want to learn how to create flowers with out any die cuts I can do um, a separate video for that but I would love to see how big flowers we can create and compare them with my bigger dies that I have in two different shapes I think uh, so that would be different that would be interesting I can tell you that this cuts you see how they are tall so your cardstock will be cut really nice it's a very nice tie. And then of course this holes for your piercer to, to push your cuts out. Because otherwise you would have to scrub it out from here. You push on the hole with the needle piercer if you have and the paper will come out easy. Also there is uh, one more little trick how to get your dies very easy from your um, uh, die cut. I already mentioned that before but we also can practice while we will do stuff now we need a little bit to zoom out to see our next project will be for those who like to create your own jewelry and play with resin I am still working on my room yesterday I put in my room uh, all my resin product uh, all the mixtures now I just need to find, um, I still kind of need to put away my diamond paintings first so then we can mess it up with you and use to have an empty table for our resin because it needs to be sturdy table with good level. So there, here is you can make cabochons for your jewelry, you can beat around this with the smaller one you can use uh, put resin and make this little tiny uh, dots in here you can make them even as a gem for your diamond paint and you know sometimes we have bigger spots well you can mix and match and create little tiny one even look at this this tiny one you can almost size of the uh, little tiny maybe like a six or uh, eight millimeter bead would be in here no maybe like a six it's very tiny uh, the, the hearts for Valentine's Day it has like a teardrop square hearts uh, hearts in here and we need something darker something darker let me get the box in here I have my box in here with stuff so maybe on this color we will see uh, better shapes so we have one two three shapes of hearts we have one two three four shapes of square um, teardrop we have one and two yes two lots of oval, ovals and lots of uh, circles in here well you can look and count for yourself if you want now this particular mold what I like about them they have support on this side which when you put your resin in here it will not sink down and create puddle of the resin on the middle of your mold uh, this have a great support and I love because some of the designs could be only as a frame if this is like a one big design maybe like a coaster or something but if you have this kind of crisscross support that is the best molds to have 
because your uh, designs will come out nice and flat without seeping over your borders and I cannot wait to start to work with it because I just need to get my room I'm still waiting to get my room done and these days I'm like very slowly working on it now together with the mold of course you have your matching pieces in here you create this you put inside of these pieces and your jewelry is ready for any occasions in this look at this how many in here wow that's a lot and different colors two colors i think in here let's see let's see what we have in here i might have to bring my lamp a little bit more from this side and at this point i don't even know if this light is better or it's create more shadow just a minute let me turn it out now Turn it out, bring it. Maybe without light right now will be better because this is dark pieces on a white mat should be okay, right? So what do we have in here? My girlfriend, the owl, the night companion. Look at that. We have them both in the two colors. Copper and kind of like a silver or tarnish old looking gold kind of and silver so when you create this piece particular this one probably no this one may be too big uh the smaller size would fit let me just like look in here if i can say oh yeah yeah definitely this is the size will go perfect inside in here and then you have in here look at that this little little tiny one that i were talking about will probably fit in in here for the eyes not sure if it will fit or not but it looks like it could be because this is like the smallest one if not you can use any gems even that you have already from diamond painting or those pointy gems that sometimes i use on my nails uh, they will sink perfect in here even a seed bead anything tiny gem for the eyes to create but definitely here for resin or you can even drop a little bit of resin in here drop some glitter a little bit and let that set that's it so this this is very very nice so all the shape in here will coordinate with your molds and the way it's light go from my window i will have to point it out this way so we have ovals we have squares how many squares we have and like this one we have in here just like a circle and that this is how it looks like on the other side very very sturdy uh in this pieces we have nice closure looking this way more more wider so we have one, two, three silver, and we probably will have one, two, three in this dark color. Okay. Then we have how many we have circles in here? Three. It could be everything by three. Let's just check if we have them all okay then we have hearts one two three and one two three yes we have all the hearts and let me show you actually close because it does has design in here but when you put your resin in here you you will not see the design probably because it will be under your resin what this uh, form good as a gift idea for your family member you can put in here picture of your kids maybe picture of your pets and then then pour um, resin over just make sure your ink not gonna smear maybe treat that picture first sometimes you can put even 
um, before you put resin over the photo I see some people using clear sticky tape to cover first that way ink not gonna be um, um, well, you you have to you have to experiment. I did not experiment with pictures yet, but you can definitely find some tutorial on the internet how to work resin and photos. Maybe you need to inject uh, printer, not the regular ink printer. Not sure, but I would love to try that. Maybe we will experiment together. So this one. Uh, same design on the center, so I don't know if that's uh, make a sense for me to show you each piece because they all look. No, this is like actually a little bit different. This one a little bit. It's kind of pointy center in here, it's like a flower mandala around. Uh, okay, then next shape we have in here the teardrop. Teardrop. We have. Yeah, th this one shape on the inside, same kind of like similar to this one, I think. I don't know. Uh, let's see, a tree, and we need a tree of this just to make sure everything is here. And that's the. I just need a perfect light to show you on a dark one. Because it's reflecting. Uh, oval. Oval on the inside look definitely a little bit different. But it doesn't matter because you're not going to see after you put resin in here. Also you can put um, clay in here to make a polymer clay. Hold on. I have to show you. Oh, that way. Okay. And uh, same thing. In the silver and then we have only two same as okay give me some focus we have a two ovals and then we have a two keys which is so pretty to create maybe even put like fresh not fresh but fresh dry flower inside in here and then just drop uh, resin. Also, this little tiny pieces would be good to create uh, without wait and mold to cure for so many hours. Uh, there is a lots of stores right now that you can buy a resin that cure with UV lamp, which for me, as I do my own uh, gel nails, I do have a lamp, and you can buy at Michaels uh, if you have a store Michaels. UV resin to just drop right in here and cure in five minutes you know it will be ready but that that's the purpose of this designs because they will be perfect match well for example key key for the key it will be like right this one size and I just flip and I saw something that the key has beautiful design on the back there a little four clover flowers and the rest of well kind of back and also different on each of them there's the camera there and then this one have about uh, this is brown and silver they have the same design but this is like a uh, specks of light going away from the center so they do have a, a little bit different backing because back you will see the front you will not see it after it's done and oval yeah just a, like a plaid almost like a wave and basket so th this is super super excited about this one I love this and we will create for this kind of designs I already have lots of leather ropes to create as a chain to go not the chain but leather rope to black color so you just string in and your design is ready okay now for those Ooh. Oh no no no! Hold on, we still have one more um, molds. I took very 
deep looking through these pieces because it's really beautiful and I'm super excited about this and I hope you're excited as well so this was our first set of the resin material okay let me just secure a little bit more my camera now the other one in here we have a little bit bigger a little bit bigger okay lots of squeaks okay so we have a do paper this is just a white paper so this is kind of like a source source um swords <laughs> i don't know if i even pronounce it can i press sword or knives okay i will call it knives okay that's beautiful um uh, my son have a collection of little pieces like this uh, that uh, made of for example handle of wood a blade some of them sharp some of them not sharp some just a decorative uh, some of this kind of similarity we brought as a souvenir from Dominican Republic as a uh, wooden piece and I thought I could surprise him to create a little decorative piece uh, for him with resin and I did not know there is um, wire go together with it unless I already totally forgot I'm sure they would be somewhere on a website show you about this so this is a 0.8 millimeter special copper wire for jewelry so in here maybe um, I'm not sure what this wire exactly for maybe to to create like little design and then put an inside in here to make it so you know if you will go to the website you'll probably see better what's up there but i uh picked this kind of a long time ago so i can't remember now all product mixing up in my head but what i would do with this one i would create some kind of like a swirls whatever for example for the butterflies wing in here to create extra design if you make a um, uh, transparent from one side and maybe a dark color on the top so you can see um, uh, all the glitters if you look in the glitters for the boy of course i wouldn't make a glitter but i would pick some colors that is his favorite colors so this is the design and I think even without any background you still can see color very well but let's just try it let's try to put on a blue there different and how many we have in one two three four five six different design now ladies scrapbookers uh, paper makers if you create well basically any of them uh, this could be your bone folder to cut creases in your paper you can use this one sharp one pieces to open your envelopes if you create them not very thick but thin layer um, because the thickness in here is pretty good if I can show you see like have my nail go inside or I have uh, okay let's see the depth of this I will use millimeter sorry my camera already says that's enough and shut down on me so five six seven I would say seven millimeters depth of this uh, of this design so if you create thinner let's say halfway you can have a good envelope mail opener and some decorative pieces yeah this is definitely nice good size to have for ladies for paper makers look at this uh, i'm not sure what's it look like a dragon in here or what i can't really uh yeah if we look from this side okay i have to have something in the background as it looks like a dragon head up there 
and the legs and this is the tail would be so it's a mystical at the same time this one almost looks like a triton <laughs> wow that's good and look at those designs you will have in here you can dab them with different mica powder to make a little different design and inside put mica powder on the inside which i create some of the design molds that we use mica powder and glitters and those coasters was beautiful uh, our first try and then of course this sticking out pieces that in here this will create a hole in your design that you can put um even wire but i don't think you need a wire but you can put something that will hold this as a charm like a or a rope or chain um to for the display in somewhere this one doesn't have a hole to hold and this one don't have so we only have um in here it's going to be a big circle this is all going to be open and whole and in here and in here in different shape a little bit very shiny silicone which will create your resin coming out like a glass very very shiny love it love it thank you very much diy digital art they always surprise and they have such a high variety up there of silicone molds so if you did not see them yet please check it out because they have a very very good uh, collection up there of the molds and also of the um, die cuts they always bring something new and I love it so this is our kind of like paper craft and silicone stuff now for those who like cross stitch let me just put this aside and i will show you what i have in here i have in here two cutest bunny look at those beautiful designs uh it's like a rag doll bunnies and let's see first let me look first 17 by 20 yes they are matching size 17 by 20 centimeters both of them in 14 count ada it called a rabbit in a blue hat so this one rabbit oh my goodness they are so cute okay let me open one by one or two together it's going to be very cute little designs i just want to see for the real thing here's the designs and we will have some uh, back stitching here lots of it but look at that okay i need to zoom out more now and here is our design look at this face set droopy eyes <laughs> Look at those long, long, soft ears. Oh my God. And you know what? Um, in one of my video unboxing, I review for you uh, crochet hooks to crochet. And the other day I went to Walmart and I purchased beautiful yarn. And I want to crochet by there's lots of tutorials everywhere and I want to try it so yes I will be reviewing those uh, hooks as well because they were beautiful I believe it was in pink color so check out that video actually I can link it up for you so you don't have to look around but this bunny is so pretty uh, I will open one by one because I'm afraid to switch uh, accidentally maybe threads and look at this so this is the size of 14 by you know 14 ada size of the hand so if you take if you take a fabric uh, like an even count or something or um, the fabric that will be go on your clothes you can create this bunny on the top of your kids clothes or even stitch this as it is an ada uh, treated around image so it doesn't fall apart because it's a 
few pieces in here kind of sticking out maybe whiskers I don't know uh, you can ignore them and stitch later on the top like for example on the back of the jeans jacket for your child I think this is going to be so cute very cute and then those whiskers literally you can just add later on the um, jackets itself uh, love it love it love it so cute like this is going to be such a huge um no not huge not the word that i wanted to say such a cute project and fast project because it's so tiny now how many colors in here we have now the full colors we have in here looks like 26 but in a full cross stitch we have 23 colors and then for the back st uh, half stitch we have three colors so half stitch go around bunny as a shadow and where else maybe it's a two colors for the shadow no it's like a one not sure yet but if you can see this the symbols there is a half stitch so full stitch 23 colors and then you have an extra color for the half stitches and also we have in here back stitch in five colors everything fit on one page very adorable and here it is our thread for this one it's going it's just a very pretty soft colors pastel colors very softness like look at that this one mostly kind of like a brown colors if we can look if we can look this way oh tangle up tangle up let's just brush it off those threads best way is to let them down and kind of like use your fingers to brush it through and we are all good so here is your some of the colors let's just show you like this there here is our first row of colors and then I love, love the softness of these colors and as you can tell they has like many of this just like a one strand of the color because the design itself very very tiny maybe even this way maybe I can lift my blinds a little bit more higher will that make me more light I'm not sure uh, this is just an experiment to do video unboxing review by my window so let me know if this was a little bit too dark for you because if I turn light that's kind of create weird shadows and not very good till I bring maybe clothes but yeah that's I don't think you see any difference with the light color because it's still good okay this is the bunny number one and bunny number two not less cute they have a beautiful hat look at this one oh, is he sucking in the thumb or he hiding his face he's shy look at those beautiful lashes cute polka dot clothes very very adorable and it's pretty much i think the colors will be probably almost the same or to be honest i think this is the boy and this is a girl why uh why i think so if we look on design together this this bunny has a pink blush on the cheek and this one doesn't have 
so it's like a you know girl put some little blush makeup on it so maybe that's how we know that this is boy and this is girl do you see the difference on our facial expression to see that this is actually boy and girl even they both have a blue design on their clothes okay so let's see now what kind of threads in here so definitely threads will be a little bit different because of the pink color up there all right there and if we can you know the size of the canvas could be the same but is the same size of the design if I can compare them feels like maybe one stitch difference but it's basically the same uh, much darker print of the image in here but definitely more visible more brighter if I can compare for you um, have to hold it behind up there okay we need a paper behind so we don't see through if I can show you sharpness of the lines of the back stitch in here which it doesn't really matter because till the time we stitch full cross stitch we're not going to see those lines so and in here they are barely kind of visible very light those back stitching lines you can see how how fa faded away in here but that's what I'm saying uh, color itself we can see very well and the back stitch you don't really need it because you will use paper design which right in here and it's nice and juicy in here so how many colors in here we have uh, we do not have half stitches with this one design only full stitch in 30 colors and back stitch in three colors so definitely a little bit difference in here what we have in here but both of them are super cute so let's see colors now if i can show you put in here it's really it looks like almost like the same colors okay if i can a little bit more colors in here we can compare them by the dmc codes which i can do this like right now if i can take this bunny and this bunny and i look on dmc codes so uh, I have 310, skip one, I have 334, four, don't have it 414, 413, four, but I do have a 415, 452, 453, 450, no, 543, 642, you see like it's, um, then some skip, then again, so lots of lots of same colors, so when you do one bunny you can s definitely use leftovers of your threads for the next bunny and then open up and use your new uh, threads or whatever the other don't have it but lots of colors is very similar so what do you think this is such a cute evening project when you don't want to have a big frame um, stand and you can just work with this in your hands easily hold in one hand and just stitch that that's the way i stitch i'm holding like this and that's how easy that is that's it it's uh, also i did review our very very tiny um, cross stitch and hoops that you can still use if you like to use a hoop but it's so tiny that i don't see purpose of the hoop to be honest or tiny frame i would just use this in my hands and on a mix of my big designs this is definitely something to use um, as a relaxing project 
love these bunnies. They are so cute. They are so cute. Let's see one more time. Let's see one more time. Where are they? Where are they? Here is the bunny girl. And here is the bunny boy. I think that's what it is. Lovely. So what do you think about today's video review unboxing? Did you like it? What product do you care for? I know lots of you don't like resins. Some of you love resins. I love to see lots of resin, resins project on Instagram. And I, I love all the crafts, whatever, um, you know, as people say, you can do it, I can do it too. And I like to experiment and this bun is definitely I would love to create them one day uh, as soon as I I decided like when I finish some of the bigger cross stitch that I can put into the mix something smaller one to relax to go back to the big one so I always have kind of in rotation smaller project and bigger project and that's the beauty about you don't have to stress yourself out okay now I give you a lecture <laughs> You just need to remember, you purchase your product not to speed and try to do as fast as possible. You create in something that you relax in. And that's okay if you start 10 or 20 of them. Uh, life is short. Do one little bit, go to the next one. And I have to say that rotating your design, it make you feel like you... You know, you all the time you're working on something new instead of you stuck with one design and maybe you're already tired of the pastel colors, you want something brighter and that's the time to get for something new and to work on something brighter colors. Okay, my friends, thank you so much for staying with me. Thank you, DIY Digital Art. Love it, love it today product. Very high, good quality everything. And I wish you all have a good day, stay safe, and I will see you in my next video.